Karen. This is Priscilla over at Dr. Nathan's office. He had asked me to give you a call this morning and get in touch with you prior to your appointment at 9.30 for some blood work. If you can please give me a call back. Uh, as soon as you get this message, press uh, the emergency extension and ask for Cecile. Thank you. Penny, this might be the last time you're the OGBG. Oh boy. Original Don't baby girl. girl. We'll find out. All right, let's go. We don't know what's happening, but we're probably gonna have a baby. Maybe the crystals are sliding. Yeah. So I see it. All right, so, little update. We don't know what's happening. Got a call back from the doctor this morning. They wanted to do extra blood work. Now we're waiting for that blood work and it might be, might be baby time. I think, uh, I think it's time for us to go have a baby. Great. Luckily, we only have to drive across the parking lot. <laughs> okay, this is the drive. <laughs> <laughs> look left, look right. Okay, we're at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to have a baby, and this is crazy. Her name is. Just Beep. <laughs> So if you saw last week's episode, you know that we were super prepared for this pregnancy. But the funny fact is, there was one chapter I skipped. We read every book and we skipped one chapter and what was it on? C-sections. C-sections. I skipped the C-sections. Why? Because we passed every one of our doctor's appointments with flying colors and yeah. we thought, we're not gonna have a C-section. Why, why would I why would I need to read about this? Like yeah. we find out that I actually have HELP syndrome, which if uh, you ever mention HELP syndrome to anyone, the response that we always get is, HELP, help syndrome, syndrome is, is no joke. joke. And it's not, it's very serious stuff. Very In fact, serious. I even thought I had it at one point, which it turns out I did. <laughs> but we thought everything was fine, and that morning we find out we have HELP syndrome, we have to have an emergency C-section, and within a few hours, we go from thinking our baby's two weeks away to our baby is just a few hours She's away. She's an afternoon away. <laughs> and so we head to the hospital, next thing I know, I'm headed down the hallway, and I'm about to have this baby. I'm about to have a girl. <laughs> Can you name her? Go ahead. Please enjoy. So Lacey's here. She's healthy. We hear her cry. But this is kind of when things actually got scary. Right? Yeah. I mean, it was a little chaotic at first. We knew it was a serious situation, but we didn't really realize what was going on until we, we, after. Yeah, we were a little naive to it, but the doctors did such a great job of like just assuring us everything was fine. They did. And so we just like, we're having a baby, this is great. And it was great. Right. Before the procedure, they had to put Rhea on magnesium, which also transferred to Lacey, which they told us about, but we didn't understand what the, that meant. What really. that really meant. Right, and the magnesium was because HELP syndrome has to do with elevated liver levels, which obviously kind of affects my whole body and then in turn Lacey's, which is why the solution is to get Lacey out right away. But because the magnesium went to her, it also kind of slowed her system down. So she came out, kiss me, and off she goes to NICU yep. for the next couple days. This is where it got kind of scary because you never plan on this. So my big advice to anybody who's headed to the hospital to have a baby, your best plan is just to be there and be supportive and just understand that m the majority of what's about to happen is outside of your control and just to trust your healthcare professionals that you've decided to go with because I had no idea what to expect in this journey. And although we had a tough 48 hours where Lacey was in NICU and Rhea was medicated and we, our family was kept apart, I kept going upstairs to see Lacey and bringing back photos to show Rhea. It was very emotional, it was, it was challenging but we got through it uh, because of the support we had for each other. And I think, you know, one thing that no matter what we kept reminding ourselves of, even though it was really challenging, was that like, this was the moment where we were becoming parents, right? Like, yeah. no matter what is going on, this is the moment for us. So even if it doesn't look like the movie you have in your head, this is it. So you, you just have to accept it and appreciate it and just enjoy that moment, even if it is super challenging and different than what you thought. Like that was the story of Lacey being born. And I think, you know, in the moment it was challenging and it was hard for us. We were also super present that right. like this was the time. Your best expectation is to have no expectations yeah. because if you set yourself up for, for thinking, like you said, a movie story book thing, and it doesn't turn out, you might be 
let down. And in our case, we just said, let's be present with whatever's gonna happen. And next thing we knew, uh, Lacey came back to us and we got to start our life together as a whole family. And what's crazy about that is, you know, we have this nice time with her, you know, at the hospital, a couple days where we get to kind of learn the ropes, I guess, you know, they, they teach us how to do the things that we need to do to be parents. And then just like that, Lacey goes from having a whole team of people to we're shuffled out the door and it's just us two. Yeah. And that was a wake up call. I and mean, I know everybody goes through that as new parents, but there's no way to really describe how that feels because it is really just uh, in a fully immersive moment where right. all of a sudden you're all in, your parents, you're doing it. I remember that last night we were in the hospital, we we thought we had it down. We're like, this is me perfect. We'll go home. Like pizza we cake. We get it. I mean, the nurses taught us, but we can do this. <laughs> and then we get home and they have the first night, which they call hell night, where everything goes to hell <laughs> and we didn't sleep one wink I don't think that first night no and that was all. our introduction to parenting so switching gears a little bit I want to talk about how we had to cope with being brand new parents at, at the dawn of this COVID pandemic and being a new parent is its own challenge right but we basically got through the first couple months which normally people are you know on maternity leave or paternity leave or whatever and so uh, for us it was the holiday season right it's right around now when we have Lacey and uh, before we know it, it'll be holiday so we had all this kind of fun time to get through where it felt like kind of a pause from work and just as we were about to come back into full swing work mode Boom. The world stops. Pandemic hits. <laughs> yeah, and so we have to go into quarantine. And so what we thought would be kind of that whole it takes a village kind of story turned into being a village Just of two. Two people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's one of those things, again, like you have this idea in your head that all these family members are going to be around to help pick up the slack and help you out and do a lot of things that they normally would. Uh, but immediately it was just like, no, you two are on your own and we had to adapt quickly. And I'm sure a lot of you are in the same boat, whether your kids are older or younger, but we, you know, we're coming from this perspective of this first time, we've never done this before. Yeah. And here we are just on our own. Right, and I think obviously like there are tons of challenges with that, but it also kind of brought this silver lining, right? Like the world paused and it allowed us a lot of dedicated time to just focus on Lacey and be super present with it and in the moment. And I know we talk about that a lot, but it's super important to us. All of a sudden we got this like cool, like, you know, ethereal spark of energy and just something spiritual that just said like, hey guys, number one, you can do this. And number two, you should be doing way more cool stuff while you're doing this. And that's right. what allowed us to start filming our lives more and deciding to do these videos and start this vlog and share our life. This is a true depiction of our Wednesday morning. Okay. She said, which I'm gonna take is like, awesome dad, you're the coolest, I love you. And then I was like, yeah, Lacey, what up, what, you, right? I think like, you know, kind of that, that thing that we're like, you feel super isolated and all of a sudden it drives you for like that deep connection. And that was kind of it. Like we were really isolated because like things like work slowed down and kind of the world slowed down. Like it, it allowed us to kind of zero in and focus and realize like, okay, if we're gonna have a little bit of extra time rather than sitting around kind of stressing about it, uh, let's just take that time and let's pour it into the things that we love to do. Yeah. And it was crucial for us. And I think, honestly, I can't imagine this year without Lacey, I think we'd be in a way different space because it really like challenged us, but it, it those challenges are what make you, you know, better person. And I think we grew. Becoming a parent, you go outside of your comfort zone, obviously, because your whole life changes, but I feel like like becoming a parent in a pandemic, your your comfort zone changes dramatically. And so I feel like we've grown wings. I feel like we've grown outside of ourselves. Before we became parents, I remember your Uncle Fred saying all the time that the days are long, but the years are short. And it always a little bit resonated with me, like we, we'd talk about it, but it never made more sense uh, until we became parents. <laughs> yeah. and, and I think it's because what happens is you're so focused on this tiny little thing that needs so much from you and that you get into these routines where you have to take care of it, it needs to sleep, you have to take care of it, you have to feed it, it needs to sleep, and then you're just kind of, you're not going through the motions per se, but it, it's, it's very repetitive. Yeah. And so you are present, but it's happening over and over and over again, and next thing you know, the calendar days are just flying by, right. like a stop motion film. Right, and I think, you know, so for me, one thing I wanted to do, especially as we were, you know, kind of documenting, taking photo and video clips through each and every day, one thing I really wanted to remember was that daily routine, yeah. right? Because because it, it did feel so monotonous at the time. Like, oh, we do this every day. Like, I'm always 
always gonna remember this, but all of a sudden it just felt like, well, now she's a month older and this routine is totally different. I was gonna say, before <laughs> long, you, you start dropping parts of the routine and starting new things as she grows and new things are happening. And then you like forget. When you're in it, you're like, oh, she does this, we'll remember this forever. She does this all the time. Right. And then three months goes by and she hasn't done it in a month and a half or two months. And you're like, wait, that yeah. happened? Yeah, like how did that happen? You know, and it's like, it, it's so crazy. So I wanted to make sure that I captured some of that. And, you know, we wanted to capture some of the little things that she did at those really young ages that we felt like, oh my God, before we know it, like she's not going to be making these cool little cooing sounds anymore or giggles. Like she's going to be saying real words. And uh, we're like already at that point. Time for some quick questions about parenting. You ready? Let's, let's do this. Pete. What is your favorite thing about parenting? I think my favorite thing about parenting is that it's not uh, just about me anymore. I had I struggled a lot when it was like the world was just about me in my own head and just thinking in my own thoughts and getting stuck in my own brain. And since we've had Lacey, I've just found myself like free from all of that because I'm focused on her. It pulls me out of this little like cave I was in and now I get to really experience life with her and feel the love and joy that she brings and that just makes everything so much better. It does, like I feel like every moment with her is just like you get to see everything through a totally different lens and it's just so fun. So fun. All right, Ree, for $200. <laughs> What is something that continues to surprise you about being a parent? I have to say, I think what continues to surprise me is like that every single time she learns something new, I'm still like in complete awe, right? <laughs> like I, I keep going back to like, she was literally in my belly, like in my belly. I, I don't even understand. I think I say it five times a day. Like I, she's becoming a human. <laughs> right. It continues to surprise me every single day when I see her, you know, repeat something that we've said or understand something that we've been saying for months that, you know, didn't make any sense before and all of a sudden she gets it or yeah. seeing her face lights up when she, you know, takes a step or grabs something or learns something. So I got one more question for you before it's my turn. What are some of your favorite products that you've used in the last year of parenting? Okay, I've got a couple that I think were absolutely uh, instrumental. One, I really liked that uh, baby Catan, like the wrap that we had. Mm. Uh, we got a size that we were both able to wear so we could wear the baby. <laughs> it was a little tight on me, but I was able to wear the baby around. <laughs> After I wore it a couple days, it was all stretched out. He could wear it and you know be tall with it. And that We'd was have good. to wash it and dry it so it shrinks back up. Um, the other thing that was really helpful for me was the, the haka. Um, so this is really just for moms, but if you are breastfeeding, the haka was really helpful because I hated absolutely hated pumping. Um, luckily, I work from home, so I am fortunate enough to not have to pump uh, that often, but I did pump, uh, especially at the beginning, and the Hakka allowed me to pump a lot less and uh, save a lot of that milk, so the Hakka was absolutely uh, instrumental. Loved that product. And if I can just interject, mm. I liked one little product that our, our friend Mikey Bones told us about. Thanks, Mike. Shout out to you. Ooh, yeah. But was gripe water. Oh my god. If you haven't used gripe water before and you have a young child, I highly recommend it. It's like not medication but um, it absolutely calmed uh, Lacey. She had uh, all sorts of belly issues yeah. uh, at the beginning. It, it was just really uncomfortable. reflux and, and it helps. It says colic and all this stuff. It's a natural, you know, tincture kind of yeah. situation. And it, she just, she'd suck it down and she'd just calm her right down. And the, it was the most amazing, magical thing. So yeah, it was gripe a water for sure. One thing I do want to mention, it wasn't really a product uh, that we got, but it was an investment we made in her first year. We hired somebody to do our sleep training and it was the best money I ever spent. In fact, I would have spent the same amount of money every single month since then because the sleep that we're able to get and the life that we're able to live. Well guys, that wraps it up for our first year of being parents. Uh, today is Lacey's birthday, so happy number one birthday to Lacey, our number one girl. I can't even handle that you just said that, but uh, it's, it's true. Our little girl is one into toddler town and uh, we're taking you guys with us. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps us a ton with the algorithms. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. And hit that bell to be notified when we post new content. Guys, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Lacey, what are we doing today? Are we gonna try a new thing? Look what we got. Look what we got for Lacey. <laughs>